morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. We're going to have Pastor Solomon present the program today, so I'm going to hand it over to Pastor. And after we have our chapel service, we're going to have kids connection, so we'll be ready for that after the service. Okay, Pastor. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good to see you all at, at least halfway, right? So um, today um, we're going to be talking about commands that Jesus gives us and some ways that are easy for us to remember them. But uh, we'll begin our worship in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll sing um, the verse of our, of our hymn that's printed on the folder, The King of Glory Comes. passage that we're going to focus on today is from Matthew chapter 22. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and uh, with all your soul. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. A lot of times it's... Um, kind of difficult for us to remember all the things that God tells us that, that we should do, that he wants us to do. And then besides that, there are the things that he warns us not to do. So there's a lot to remember. And um, sometimes we have to try to wait, find a way to summarize it so that it's easy for us to keep in our minds. Now, like when you're at home, and maybe you're getting ready to go to school in the morning, like, like today, uh, as you're heading for the door, um, maybe one of your parents will hold this up. What's the message? Yeah. Yeah, don't forget to wear your mask. Um, maybe another, oh yeah, how about this? If uh, your mom holds up this bag and points to it and then points to the door, what is that all about? Yeah. Yeah. Take out the garbage on your way out the door. Oh, yeah, and don't forget. Yes? Yeah. Don't forget, it's cold out there, so don't forget to wear your hat. And then, probably you're going to need some of this to carry along in your pocket. What's the command there? Yeah. Yeah. Take along something to blow your nose with. So all kinds of things for us to remember. And um, one of the uh, probably best ways to sum it all up in one sentence is to say, don't forget all your school stuff, right? That might be a good way to sum it up. So um, um, God also uh, wants to sum up his rules for us so that they're easier to remember. Now, just to show you why that's important, one of my members in my church in Milwaukee he was a builder and a painter. And uh, 
he would go to Jewish houses in our neighborhood and he would do fixing in their houses, but they were very fussy. Um, they didn't want him to go into the kitchen because around Passover time, they had all kinds of rules that had to be obeyed. All the dishes had to be taken out of the cupboard. All the dishes had to be washed. They had to go through the whole house like with a little brush and a dustpan and try to find any little piece of food that was lying around like a crumb or something or any kind of other dirt that didn't belong there. So they had to observe the rules and they got so tired of watching him and telling him, don't touch this, don't touch that, don't touch that. They said, why don't you just wait till after Passover and then you can come and do your work. So um, they had a lot of rules to remember. And today we meet um, some people in the gospel for today who had a lot of rules to remember. Now God has given us some rules and I think we have a little bit easier time remembering them. And they're in a little book that uh, we call the Catechism. You remember any rules from the Catechism? Anybody, can anybody tell me a rule from the Catechism? What about the first commandment? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, you will have no other gods. Can anybody remember another one of the ten rules? Yes, ma'am. Okay, honor father and mother, is that what you said? Yes, okay. You got one more? The Sabbath, remember the Sabbath day by keeping at home. All right, very good. So, um, um, you know, God gave us ten of them, and they're kind of easy to remember. If we, if we learn them, uh, we'll keep them with us in our mind and heart all the time. But in the time of Jesus, they also had a lot of rules. The Jewish people had a lot of rules. And uh, one day there was a man who was not asking Jesus about the rules, but he just wanted to trap Jesus. There were so many rules, and so he said to Jesus, which is the greatest commandment that God gave? And he was going like, oh, I hope he gets it wrong. I hope he gets it wrong. Um, but Jesus, of course, knew the rules very well because he had given them from the beginning of time. So um, when the man came to him and asked him and tested him, Jesus said to the man, um, when he asked him, what is the greatest of all the commandments? Jesus said, um, this, is, this is what God commands. Um, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And the second one is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Those are pretty easy to remember, aren't they? Um, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, all your soul. Love your neighbor as yourself. One thing I think that makes these really easy is because that's what we would like people to do for us as well. We would like to be able to join with people like we are joined together here today uh, to show our love for God above all things when we're playing on the playground or when we're with a group of people, um, we would like people to show their love for us just as we show our love for them. And so um, here, here's the gospel that we hear today. Hearing that, that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, those were people that had all kinds of laws and um, they were disputing with Jesus about which is the most important thing that God taught. Hearing that Jesus had silenced these people, the Pharisees got together. One of them, an expert in the law, asked him uh, the question, and it says, tested him. Teacher, 
which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. So Jesus was saying, you don't have to memorize hundreds and thousands of, um, of commandments um, about small things like um, how, how much do you have to wash the dishes before Passover and all that. But Jesus says the important thing is um, these two commandments. All right, now let's say um, before you go out to school, you've got all these things that your mom and dad ask you to do, hang up your clothes, put on your cap, take out the garbage, wear your mask, <sighs> a lot of things to remember. Um, but what is one simple way to summarize all that stuff in the morning before you leave the house? What would be a good summary of it? Take all your school stuff, right? Would that be easy to remember? Because you've probably got it sitting in a bag or something somewhere. All you have to do is grab it when you go out the door. And J Jesus was saying this too. It is easy to remember these commandments that God gives. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. What is the one word that we could use to summarize those commandments that Jesus spoke about. The main word is, anybody who had it? Somebody said it? Love. Love, okay, love. If we just remember that, then um, we are walking in the path that Jesus has laid out for us for the day. Let's pray about this. Dear Lord Jesus, you did perfectly what we could not do. You always showed perfect love for God and for others. Forgive us for the many times we have not loved God and our neighbors as we should. Lead us to thank you for your love by showing Christian love to others. Now, because you and I cannot keep this commandment perfectly, and because very often we might forget it even, uh, what did Jesus do for us? Okay, I see a hand way back there. Can you tell me what she said? He died on the cross. He died on the cross. So Jesus paid for all those times that uh, we forgot to love God as we should to love our neighbor as we should. And he also showed us an example of the greatest love of all. He gave up his life for us um, to win forgiveness for our sins. But the greatest thing of all in that story is that Jesus rose again from the dead so that we could live with him in his perfect love in heaven forever. Let's uh, join in our next hymn, um, The Law Commands and Makes Us Know.
Lord Jesus, grant that we might love um, our God who loved us so much that he sent his son, you, to die for us for the forgiveness of our sins. Help us to love the Lord our God with all our hearts, souls, and minds and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Amen. And let's join in uh, reading the psalm responsively. How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart. That I might not sin against you. I delight in your decrees. Lord Jesus, help us to remember that one word that guides us today and always, that word love, your great love for us. And because you've loved us, help us also to love the Lord our God with all our hearts, souls, and minds, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And at this time, we'll receive your offerings. Pastor, yes. the children take their offering as they come from, from school and okay. put it in an offering box, so we've already done the offering. Thank you. All right, very good. Well, then, uh, children, go in peace, live in harmony with one another, serve the Lord with gladness, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. God bless you, keep you all healthy and safe and warm. Thank you, Pastor, for presenting for us today. We're going to continue now with our Kids Connection program, but I'm going to ask Addison H., can you help us? Can you go to the back of the church and turn off the light switches by the stairs to the balcony? Can you see where they are? Do you know where they are? Can you just turn them all off, okay? All of them. So we don't have any birthdays at this time, so we're not going to be singing happy birthday, but I, got, I want you guys to watch carefully the presentation that we're going to have because there's a story today that has a very close connection to us here at St. John. So you guys have to watch it close, okay? It's October. And it's Kids Connection. One, two, three. Kids Connection. Stay connected. Stay connected to Jesus. Hi, welcome to Kids Connection. I'm Nina. And I'm Christian. Depending where you live, October may mean leaves changing color, eventually falling off trees. 
Whether you see leaves changing color, an evergreen, or a palm tree, or a cactus outside your window, it's time for the seasons to change. Days are going to get shorter, and it's going to become cooler outside. This is by design, however. God made the seasons. This month, we celebrate summer and winter. First, we take a look at summer camp. We have a lot of fun here, and you just get to do all of these activities that you don't normally get to do at your house. Yeah, and there's no electronics, or at least like not no phones for campers or anything. So you have to like spend most of your day outdoors, and that's fun. Very fun. <laughs> At Camp Phillip, kids come for a week and get to enjoy all kinds of activities. Meet new people, try different foods, and learn about Jesus by studying the Bible and seeing the love of Jesus on display through camp counselors. Camp can really change your life through what the Holy Spirit does here. Um, that Jesus' love is very powerful. And that while you're here, you can learn so many wonderful things that will change your life. That's lessons that you might not know it right away. You might say, that was just a really fun experience. But stuff that you can draw back on and say, I learned that at, at camp. I heard about Jesus and, and how he loves me and forgives me. These sort of things at camp. I learned what it means to be a, a good role model, what it means to be patient with someone, or loving or kind, or how to, to serve with a, with a willing heart. You get to learn all these kinds of things here in a way that's very fun and, and rewarding. Then they heard a law proclaim, nations of all people of every language, this is what you are commanded to do. I think that the biggest part of this job is making sure that they grow in their faith in every aspect possible. Um, it's like a really cool job because you can apply God's word to absolutely everything you do. All right, guys. Bon appetit. At the end of the week, campers head home with stinky laundry, life lessons, new friends, and some great memories. Camp is super fun, and all the games that I get to play are amazing. I feel sad that I'm going home, but I also feel happy that I get to see my family. This is such an important place and such like a cool place to be that I can't picture not being here for a summer. Now it's time for winter. Our next story was sent to us from Cribbits, Wisconsin, where they hosted their own version of the Winter Olympics. They split the kids into different teams or countries and kick it off with an opening ceremony. Events include bobsled and hockey, along with the devotion and Bible study in connection with those events. They finish the day with, of course, the closing ceremonies. It's a fun way to reach out to the community and spread the good news of Jesus. Now it's time for Pastor Tony Schultz with another question and answer session. Stay connected to Jesus. Hey, Pastor Schultz, why do we call our schools Lutheran schools? And why is Martin Luther so important? Thank you for asking. Martin Luther was not perfect. Martin Luther would be the first person to tell you he was a wretched sinner, just like me, and just like you, when you see Luther, you see him pointing, pointing, pointing to Scripture. Martin Luther translated the Old Testament out of Hebrew, the New Testament out of Greek, into German, so God's people could read God's Word. Martin Luther is so precious because he points us to Scripture that we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, found in Scripture alone, because of Christ alone. Martin Luther said every one of us should memorize the whole letter to the Romans. Romans chapter 8. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as is written? For your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. We are Lutheran to be reminded. God's word, search the scriptures, hear God's word, have family devotions, come to church, grow in faith, 
and serve him faithfully until he brings us home to heaven by grace alone, through Christ alone. Amen. Thanks, Pastor Schultz. This month, we spend some time outside during summer and winter. God made the seasons. The day is yours and yours also the night. You established the sun and moon. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Psalm 74, verses 16 and 17. Celebrate all four seasons in the God who made them. Until November, remember, stay, stay connected, connected to, to Jesus. Jesus. All right, that was our Kids Connection for today. Uh, Julia, can I ask you to go and turn on the lights for us? You can switch all of them back on there. Thank you. So, what was the connection to us? What was the connection to us?